We, uh, I have theterminatorfans.com pulled up, by the there way. There you go. We have to ask a question. This sure. one comes from the fans and says, are users are anticipating the return of the liquid metal T-1000 in Terminator 5? Have you been contacted by Annapurna Pictures or Skydance Productions regarding a possible return to the Terminator franchise? And the very simple answer is no. Would you be open to it if they did contact you? I would be interested to read and see what they would, if they wanted to uh, bring the character back, I would be interested to see. But in all honesty, uh, I feel like I've put my stamp on that franchise. Um, I, I think I, I left it all up there on the film and I, I don't really know if I, I, if I would like to revisit the character. Um, but having said that, if the right people were involved, in other words, if Jim Cameron was involved, if Linda Hamilton, if Arnold Schwarzenegger, if, if they brought back some of the original players, Michael Bean, uh, I might be interested. But uh, um, not sure. We're not I, sure I yet. personally feel like I should leave that performance alone and just let it stand, be a standalone performance. You know, I, I don't know. I'm I'm 54 years old. I, I don't think physically I could do. Uh, you can't run like that anymore. I, I, I I've got a bad. I'm hip disappointed. Now. I, I I've, I've slowed down quite a bit, so uh, I I don't know if I'd really. Uh, it would be to my advantage to revisit it. Any interesting story uh, <clears throat> backstories to how you did land that role? Uh, it was a. Uh, 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 audition that I got and, and uh, Mally Finn was the casting director and they all I knew was they wanted to create an they, they needed somebody to create an intense presence uh, and they really didn't give me much to go on uh, but I it was a fan of the original Terminator and I decided the best uh, tack to take was to try to imitate what Arnold had done or what I remembered him doing because I, 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 I figured it must be something related to that uh, they were uh, you know, looking for that kind of a thing. So it was very ad-libbed, improv They kept saying, we're trying to create some sense-aware sense aware being. And um, they took a camera out and I just started doing uh, ad-libbing and improv trying to create this, uh, this presence. And pretty much what you see in the film is uh, what I came up with at the audition. And I, I remember I got a call that night saying Jim Cameron was very impressed with what I had come up with. Uh, they invited me back the next day. I worked with Jim again, doing relatively the same things. And then um, uh, I, uh, the third day, uh, they, they actually let me read the script. And uh, that was about when I started to choke. Uh, you know, it was, uh, I, I realized what I was getting myself into, and it was uh, probably going to be a, a life changing experience if I didn't blow it. And uh, I did a, a screen test at that time. And, and they cast me. And how, and how did life change too? I mean, com compare you know being a struggling actor um, to, to, to what happened after that. Yeah, well, you know, uh, you're a uh, broke actor living in Hollywood. You get this, and and now you know the the, the pressure's on to uh, to deliver. And and the and the film worked, and uh, people reacted. It was it was amazing the reaction of people. Uh, all of a sudden, I was now recognized on the street. I remember being in Chicago. And literally, like cars doing U-turns, and businessmen, you know, just freaking out that they were they were meeting the T-1000. It was it was pretty heady experience, and 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 at a, you know, no one really prepares you for that, you know, no one really. They don't teach you that. In they don't. They school? don't teach you that. They don't. You know, you don't have handlers like like they did back in the old days that kind of groom you for this new stardom. So uh, I was a little bit like a deer in the headlights, you know. I was. It was uh, disconcerting to uh, all of a sudden be hugely famous for something, and 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 the and the role. It wasn't really that I, Robert Patrick, was famous. It was the character, uh, the T one thousand was uh, was the you know the uh, the iconic thing that uh, was famous.